How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. This week, I'm turning this toy to enjoy into a post-apocalyptic war machine. It's part of a collaboration with five other grown men who also have craft channels on YouTube. I'll introduce those guys in a minute. At the end of this video, my car and all of their cars will face off in an epic death race hosted by none other than the craftsman himself. Definitely stick around for that, you're not going to want to miss it. And now before I get started, let's meet those collaborators. We have Narb from Narb Makes, Gert from Dark Matter Workshop, Nick from CC Minis, Tinu from Craftastrophe, and of course, Bill from Bill Making Stuff. If you're not already subscribed to those channels, definitely go do that. I knew from the beginning I wanted to swap out the sweepers with something a little more befitting of a Mad Maxian universe. The idea was that in the post-apocalypse, you need to shred the streets, not sweep them. So I cut off the bristles, saved the inner wheel, and replaced it with some gears I found at the hobby store. I wasn't really happy with how that looked, so I set it aside to come back to it later. I wanted the windshield to have those cool metal slats that Jason Statham has on his Mustang, as well as some iron bars on the sides. I used some square styrene tubes to create the frame, but the cab had a slight curve to it, so I heated up the styrene with a heat gun before gently forming those to the correct shape. Don't point the heat gun at your fingers, by the way. I then glued those to either side and another piece to the top and the bottom to complete the frame. I then cut up some thin strips of styrene to make the slats. Cut those out to have a nice snug fit, and I glued them in place. I then used some rhinestones to create rivets. Rhinestone rivets are definitely not my original idea, but I forgot who I saw do it first, so I'm just gonna say thank you to everyone. Next, I took a metal rod, I snipped it into little pieces, and I bent those into various sizes of the Staples logo. Drilled some holes spaced out around the window so that when the staples were put in, they formed a mostly even grid pattern. I then cut up some thin metal mesh and I glued that to the smaller side windows on the cab. After those were in place, it was time to move on to the rest of the truck. I bought a mini sheet of corrugated metal. I snipped that into panels of various sizes and shapes. I started gluing those all over the vehicle, starting with the roof. I also added little bits of styrene that I had textured with chips and scratches. The idea was to make this vehicle look like it had been built and rebuilt and reinforced with scrap metal and junk over years of living post-apocalyptically. I also added some extra styrene frame pieces and a piece of an old clothes hanger to make the vehicle a little roof rack to hold some useful junk later on. After that, I added a bunch of rhinestone rivets, and that was most of the construction done. Then it was time to revisit those sweeper wheels. Like I said earlier, the gears weren't really doing it for me. So I traced out a little circle on some styrene, and popped it out before cutting some evenly spaced wedges off the edge to create a circular saw. I repeated the process two times, so I had two saw blades, and I was much happier with how those looked. I threw a little battery housing in the back to power some lights later on, and I flipped around a little interior liner piece extend the back a little bit which created a perfect spot for the recycle bin that came with the toy. I wanted to make sure that I did get that recycle bin on there because this vehicle is all about the three R's of the apocalypse. Wreck, recycle, and reuse. I added a few more finishing details and then the construction was done. After that, it was time to prime. I was originally going to paint this whole thing with just shades of brown, because I really like brown, and it would have been fitting for the setting. But considering that this machine of death began its life as a toy car, I decided to go with more of a toyish paint scheme for all the base colors. Once those base colors were on and dry, I wasted no time in splashing on some brown, black, and rust washes to grime it up and tie everything together. I then dry brushed on some metallic paint over all the appropriate areas, 
and the final step in painting was to dust everything up with a coat of sandy color from the airbrush. I gave the whole thing a coat and made sure the most concentrated areas were those that were closest to the ground. I then made some cute little trash bags using a method that I learned from north of the border. I'll put that video right here. Stuck those in the back and dirtied them up a little bit. I wanted to have some lights on this vehicle, so I added a little light bar and some red lights on top of the cab. I threw all the electronics together, soldered everything to the batteries, and I closed it up. Before I sealed the cab back in place, I of course needed a driver for this war machine. So I went to the dollar store and I found an action figure with about the same physique as me. Unfortunately, his legs were in the wrong position for driving, so I used a heat gun to warm up the plastic and bent those bad boys into shape. I saw the same heat gun trick used by my friend Dave from Dr. Toys. I will link his channel below. I needed a more accurate head for this driver, so I ripped off the old one and sculpted a small peppermint angelfish out of polymer clay. I painted it orange and white as seen on my profile picture. I made a little fish bowl out of some epoxy, resin, and silicone mold that I found at the hobby store. I primed and painted the outfit to look a little more suitable for a post-apocalyptic wasteland. And then I glued the fishbowl onto the body. The last things to do before the big race were to glue the driver in place and snap the cab back on. After that, I called it good. Welcome to Beyond Crafter Dome, where today we will watch a death race for some of the last crafting supplies left in the wasteland. First one to the dollar store wins. Let's meet our sacrifices. First up is Thor Breaks in his monster truck, Big Crunch. What, did he name that thing after a breakfast cereal? Next up is Nick of CC Minis, who's looking hot. <clears throat> and I mean that in a purely platonic way. In his hot ride called Fire Truck. And the Belgian Banshee is back. It's Gerd of Dark Matter Workshop. Gerd has a whole swarm of cars coming for you. Tino of Craftastrophe is piloting the War Rig Shite Rider. All of his weapon systems are controlled by a Windows Vista. Bill making stuff is apparently giving bus tours of the wasteland now in his double-decker death machine, Red Rooter. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this guy. Does he even know this is a race? Ah, this is Buzzsaw Boilai in his vehicle Street Reaper. Good luck, fish. You're gonna need it. Uh-oh. Here comes the boss. The ultimate craft warrior. The Ayatollah of Crapola. The man with the best crafting tips in the apocalypse craftsman. Contender, welcome to Beyond Crafter Dawn. Well, this is a race to the finish. Alright. The victorious one will receive a coupon to the dollar store. And also some my pie. Alright. Contender. Start your angels. Like that. The race will begin in three, two, one. <laughs> Both have their eye on the leader, Kurt. <laughs> Don't count out CC minis or T2 of Craftastrophe. I'm launching the secret weapon. No, Daddy, hold your horses. And not surprising anyone, boy, my in last place. Look at him go, that's what speed looks like. 
Kurt still has a commanding lead of first place. Come on, boy, lad, you can do it, champ. Oh, oh, look out. Looks like Norb is making a power grab for Gert. Say hello to my little friend. Whoa, he smushed one of Gert's cars, but he's out of control. is out of the race. All right, Windows Vista, let's rain down some fire. A printer not detected. Printer? Work, you stupid thing. Help, I'm being assaulted. Here comes CC Minis. Let's go. <laughs> Take that, Gerd. And Gerd's second car is out of the race. You just got roasted. Don't count out Red Ruger. Nick! Nick, it's Bill! Oh no. <laughs> Bill shooting stuff is raining down fire. Watch out, Nick. Oh jeez. Oh, 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 broadside. <laughs> Alright, he was a nice guy, but he did Gert still in the lead. It's the German. Watch out, Gert. Hello, German. Good and talk. Mm, unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> Bro, Gert has crashed and Bill has stalled. Oh, got 40 gears. What's going on? It's T New. Adios, Bill, losing stuff. Death ball. <laughs> T New! Dinu has taken the lead. <laughs> Bill's back in action. I'm coming, Tinu. Uh oh, should have been nicer. Let me out of. Go, Danny, go. Secret weapon alert. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day. Time to catch your bus. Hey, Bill, you're serving sloppy joes today in Valhalla. Huh? Let's go grab a demo. They're okay. Hey, I'm alive. I always knew I was indestructible. Ah! Daddy. And we have a clear winner with T New of Craftastrophe. Wait, why is he stopping? Okay, Windows Vista, let's get some revenge. Weapon system online. Kill that fish. Fire. Target acquired. Destroy Shite Rider. Wait, what? No! Abort, abort, abort! Sweet darkness, take away the pain. Sweet darkness, uh -oh. take away the pain. Sweet well, we have a new winner. Boy, my hobby time. He's gonna be taking home that Mod Podge as he slowly meanders his way to the finish line. If you need to take a bathroom break, I suggest now it's a good time because uh, this is taking a while. Hold on, Boilai has finally crossed the finish line and is entering the tower store to get a good look around fish at your wonderful prizes. Hello, hello, hello. That's what that button does. My man. That is it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed that. Huge shout out and thank you to Nick and Tinu for putting that race animation together. If you enjoyed the race, go and give them a sub as a thank you. They absolutely killed it. Another thank you goes out to Craftsman for hosting the big race. Really appreciate that. Thank you to all the other collaborators for making this such a fun project. And of course, thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are great. Have an awesome week, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thank you.